Hey everybody, this is Mr. Polly, and welcome to Podcast 12.1. We're going to talk about colors a little bit. Um, we are going to describe the characters, price, properties of the acids and bases. Oops, and bases. List the common household products, blah, blah, blah. Explain that acids are proton donors and, and basic proton acceptors. By the way, proton is H positive. Explain definition, blah, blah, blah. You've got that already, and you're ready to roll, just like me. So here we go. We're looking at the properties of acids and bases. Now, this tasting is something you shouldn't do in the lab, but we do it at home all of the time. So bases taste bitter. Acids taste sour. Now, I have a hard time telling if it's bitter and sour, and Mrs. Harbin told me not everybody tastes bitter, so maybe that would be, I didn't mean like if I licked my fingers, it would taste bitter. If you licked my fingers, it would taste like chicken. Which, by the way, neutral means no taste. That's why I said chicken, because it's supposed to, that's a joke, so. Um, it feels, bases feel slippery, my favorite characteristic of all. And acids feel sticky. I don't know why I'm starting with bases for all these, but I am. And neutral feels not, neither of those, right? So guilty. Ha, ha, ha. Litmus in acid. An acid is rayed in litmus. And it is blue in base. Phenolphthalein is pink in base, and it is colorless in acid. And neutral is clear or colorless. Conductivity, both of these have high conductivity. Conductivity means we'll conduct electricity. So both of them will conduct electricity very well. An acid has a pH below 7. A base has a pH above 7. And a neutral substance has a pH of 7. If you add a metal, an acid dissolves it. And a base has no reaction. If you add carbonate, acid bubbles. And a base, um, no reaction. So there's some basic properties to start with. Isn't that fun? So what is vinegar? OK, so vinegar tastes sour. It's clear. It's sticky. And turns litmus red. It's not red, but it turns litmus red. So it is an acid. Ammonia is a cleaning substance. It's slippery, like most cleaning soaps. Slippery, it's clear, that doesn't really help me much, and it turns litmus blue, it is a base. Cleaning supplies like soap, you should know maybe sometime that soap um, is slippery because it cleans you. You might want to know that, Cody. Soap can clean you and it feels slippery. And which one feels slippery again? Wait, I forgot. Slippery is slippery, feels slippery, that's a base. So it's a base. Orange juice, sticky. A little bit sour. I know you'll tell me it's sweet, but whatever. Um, and it is an assay. In. Gastric juices. <laughs> so we're not there. Again, we get to talk about barfing break absorbs at least once. Gastric juice is, is stomach acid. Banana peel. You know, there's nothing better than the great comedy of somebody slipping on a banana peel. What? If it's slippery, it is a base. Indicators tell you the pH. So one way to tell the pH is with these indicators. So the ones you need to know are bromothymol blue, I hope. Bromothymol blue, that you should know acid is yellow and base is blue. You should know litmus, which I don't think is on here. And you should know phenolphthalein, which I also did not put. Oh, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein. And litmus, which you've used a whole bunch of times, where it is rayed. Acid. If it is red, acid. Okay. If phenol is phenol red is yellow. So where's my phenol red? Do 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 do. Phenol red. Phenol red. Cha ching. Is yellow and bromothymol blue is yellow. So phenol red is yellow. It's got to have a pH down this way. And bromothymol blue is yellow. Bromothymol blue is yellow. Okay. And chlorophenol red is red. Chlorophenol red is red. Oh, so phenol red says its pH is below 7. Bromothymol blue says its pH is below 6.5. And chlorophenol red says its pH is above 6. 
So its pH is between 6 and 6.5. And that's how you can tell what these different things are. Okay, Nifty, nifty. A chemistry of acid and bases. First of all, acids, I would say, say, hello, I'm an acid. So if I start with H anything, it's an acid. And this H says, hello, I'm an acid. Hello, I'm an acid. So the chemistry of an acid and a base is HCl in water makes it H3O positive and Cl negative. So notice what happened here is an acid, hello, I'm an acid, is an H giver. Do you see how HCl, hydrochloric acid, gave its H to water to make H3O positive? That left with Cl negative. Okay. Um, the other part is this NaOH, this OH part is the base, right? So this is the base. This guy's going to take an H from HCl. So this gives an H, right? If it gives an H, it's going to make water, right? So HCl is an acid. It is a giver. And then OH is going to take it, so this is your base. The whole thing is your base, but you see how the OH is going to take it to make HOH. Oh, HOH, oh, all that's issue. Oh, 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 oh. And the base is an H taker. And the base is usually N and OH. An exception to that is NH3. NH3 is a base. It is probably our most common base. NH3 is a base, even though it doesn't have an OH on it. NH3 is a base. Did you write that down? Good. By the way, H positive and H3O positive are the same thing. Okay, exactly the same thing. H positive loves the negative around H2O. So if I made water, and remember, I've got these electrons here, which are negative. So this is kind of negative-ish. And I have H positive. It goes, oh my goodness, I love you, negative area on the oxygen. And it makes H3O positive. And it makes H3O positive very, 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 very often. Okay, we're on the okay. Um, so the negative around water and bonds. So H positive loves the negative around water and bonds, like the annoying couple in the hallway. How can they always be together? They're always together, and we won't say who in our classes are like that, Brianna. Neutralization. Neuter means to take away identity. If an acid is neutralized, it is no longer an acid. If a base is neutralized, it is no longer a base. So if I have HF plus NaOH, what happens is, this is an H giver, right? This is going to be the H taker, the OH part. I'm going to get HOH plus NaF. Is HOH, is that an acid or a base? Well, I know it starts with an H, but really it's water. So it's not an acid. And this one doesn't start with H or an OH or an H3. So it's not an acid or a base. Is the product an acid or a base? Neither. It's neutered. By the way, this is water. Whoops. And this is called a salt. Any ionic compound starts with a metal. So if it starts with a metal, it is a salt. Okay? And they're not acids nor bases, they are salts. So HNO3 and KOH. So okay, here we go. Hello, I'm an acid. Oh, I'm a base. Those two are gonna hook up. H O H plus uh 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 K N O three K N O three. Remember K is plus one, N O three is minus one, and those charges cancel. Right. So again, water and a salt because it starts with a metal. Remember, you've got your periodic table of fun over here. Whee! There's a little stair step thing. Everything over here is a metal. Except hydrogen. Okay. Hello, I'm an acid. Hello, acid. Oh, I'm a base. Hello, base. I'm going to H2O, another way to write HOH, plus FeNO2 taken twice. Notice the iron is plus two. Nitrite is minus one, so you could cross those bad boys, and that's what you get. Acid plus base equals salt plus water. Acid plus base equals salt plus water. By the way, base plus acid equals salt plus water. Water plus salt, if you want to do it. It doesn't matter what order you do it, but it's there. Strong acid and strong bases. Strong acid and bases ionize 100%. Ionize means split up. Ah! Split up. So your strong acid are HCl, H2SO. Oh, I missed. H2SO4, shame on me, and HNO3. What this means is if I add HCl 
plus H2O. What happens 100% of the time is you get H positive plus CO negative, and or H3O positive. H positive plus CO negative, 100% of the time. Not a single one of them splits up. So if it's a strong ester or base, it splits up 100%. Okay? Like if Vince was asked out by a supermodel, it split up 100%. So what are HNO2? Oh, strong bases, by the way, group 1 and 2 hydroxides. What does that mean? Okay, table again. This is group 1. This is group 2. So HNO2 starts with H. Hello, I'm an acid. Is it a strong acid? Close. Nope. What is it? It is a weak. Calcium hydroxide. That's not hello, I'm an acid. Calcium is right around here. It's a group 2 hydroxide. It is strong. Apparently that's weak. I put an E on it to make it look British. HCl. Hello, I'm an acid. It is strong because it comes from my strong list that I have now memorized. HCl, H2SO4, HNO3. NH3 is a base. Now where's the base that tells you it? Is it a group 1 or 2 hydroxide? No, but it's weak. And I forgot to put down what these were. Assayed, base, assayed, and that was base. Concentration does not equal strength. Concentration does not equal strength. Concentration is molarity. Does not equal strength, which equals 100% ionization. If you are strength, I don't know why I do that. Strength is how much you separate. Darn it. I might say if you're strong. Strength is how much you separate. Concentration is how packed in you are, right? So how many dots are in there? So remember, to be concentrated, concentrated, uh, we'll call the word concentrated, uh, means molarity bigger than one. And this is something that we kind of just go with it, LT. Okay? So notice this. 0.1 molar, it is dilute. So I'm separating these. 10 molar is concentrated. 0.2 molar is dilute. Why is it dilute? Less than 1. 3.5 molar is concentrated. Why is it concentrated? More than 1. 2 molar NaOH is concentrated. Why is it concentrated? More than 1. Okay. Now, strength depends on your identity. Is HCl one of my strong acids? I forgot my strong acids. Oh, look, they're right here. HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, those are my strong acids. HCl, hey, that's a strong acid. HNO3, hey, that's a strong acid. HNO2, that's not strong. Must be weak acid. HF, not strong, weak acid. NaOH is a group 1 hydroxide, so it is a strong base. Review. Hello. I'm an acid. I'm friendly, and I'm an H giver. Isn't that nice? Acids and bases make salt and water. Acids and bases make salt and water. Concentration does not equal strength. Does not, does not equal strength. Indicators change color different pHs, and don't be colorblind in chemistry. And you are, and enjoy the rest of your colorful day.